Greetings. So there's this talk that's coming out that there's going to be a Harry Potter TV series and quite possibly a reboot of the Harry Potter movies by Warner Brothers. I'm not big on reboots. I've seen very few reboots and some of them that I saw, I didn't really consider them reboots for one reason or another. I'm just too invested in the Harry Potter books that I've already got, that I've read. I'm already invested in the movies, got them all. Matter of fact, I have the regular version and I have the HD version of all those movies, the Blu-ray version. So, you know, I'm set. I don't want to start with new kids. I'm not sure what they'll change. I'm happy with what I've seen. But in general, I'm not big on reboots. And I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to look back on a list of rebooted movies that have been done. At least they call them all reboots. And I want to see how many of them I've actually, well, seen. And I want to know what you guys think about reboots of movies that you enjoyed in the past and now they're redoing the same thing. And probably that's where my mindset is, is did they do something that was similar or did they totally change it up? So let's start with Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man starred Andrew Garfield. Well, I was totally invested in Tobey Maguire. Those first two Spider-Man movies way back then were great. Both of those were great movies. The third one, eh, you know, it was a little off, but it was still Tobey Maguire. I liked how it ended. Some of that other stuff just got in the way. It was really messy. They didn't need two bad guys. Well, actually, I guess you can say three bad guys. We just didn't need that. So that was kind of messy. I think that ruined it. What they had Tobey Maguire do <laughs> with that dance thing, that was horrific. So they just messed that up. And, you know, that's that. But Amazing Spider-Man, I just couldn't bring myself to watch it. So that's on me. Now, there was a movie called The Batman. And I didn't even know there was such a movie. I don't know who starred in it. I did like when Ben Affleck played in the movie Batman versus Superman. That wasn't a reboot of anything. That was totally brand new. And, you know, we had Henry Cavill, who basically reprised his role of, you know, in The Man of Steel. Well, I didn't see that. <laughs> I just wasn't interested. At the time, I was still good with Christopher Reeves being Superman. So I didn't want to see, I didn't even know who Henry Cavill was until, you know, Batman versus Superman. So I didn't know who he was. I never saw the movie. And then I had to see Batman versus Superman. I mean, God, you know, we all wanted to see Batman versus Superman. I don't think we got the movie we really wanted, but I enjoyed it for the most part. You know, I'm easy to please most of the time. So I didn't see that. And then there was Batman Begins. I'm not sure which one that is supposed to be <laughs> reboot of. No clue, but I didn't see it. Then we've got Beethoven's Big Break. Now, I loved the original Beethoven. I mean, come on, who doesn't like giant fluffy St. Bernards? I love that movie. And then they did the second movie, which wasn't bad. The next movies were all horrible. And then they decided to try to do a reboot. Well, you know, it just wasn't going to be the same. You didn't have the same people in it. You didn't have the same dog. I mean, you couldn't have had the same dog. Didn't care. So that wasn't happening. Then Benji. Now, I saw Benji back in the 70s because we all saw Benji. I didn't think it was the greatest movie in the world. So when they did a reboot of it in 2018, I really wasn't compelled to go back and watch it. That was a different kind of thing because, like I said, you know, I was probably 12 or 13 when that other one came out, and I didn't really like that, so it wasn't happening. Then they had Death Wish, which is a reboot of the movies that starred Charles Bronson back in the day. Those first two Charles Bronson Death Wish, Death Wish movies were something else. They were edgy, they were dangerous, and it was just something about Charles Bronson playing that role that you just said, oh my goodness, I want to see, I want to see all the people he's going to kill because they're all bad guys. Yeah, you know, I was one of those people. We want to kill bad guys. He's going to go get them, you know. So I loved those movies back then. Well, when they came out with this Death Wish in 2018, I'm thinking, one, we're kind of beyond that kind of thing now. You know, 
those old Charles Bronson movies won't play well in today's world. And this just looked like it was a mess. I said, nah, not dealing with it. Then we got Doolittle, starring Ronnie, uh, you know, Robert Downey Jr. We loved Rob, you know, Robert Downey Jr. We had just finished Endgame. We were just sky high doing everything. And then we hear that Doolittle is coming out. And I think a lot of us loved Dr. Doolittle back in the day with Gene Wilder. And I just couldn't bring myself to go watch it. Now, what's interesting is the critics beat it up. So I thought, good, I just saved you know all my money because I didn't want to go see that. But it turns out that the audiences actually loved it. The kids loved it. So maybe, you know, critics may have messed it up for me, but I just couldn't see Doolittle being a reboot. I have a feeling that maybe after it's been about 10 years, I might just watch it because sometimes that's how I've done some of, the, some of these movies. You know, I didn't see them when they first came out. I took some time. So let's talk about Fantastic Four 2015. Okay, maybe I'm one of those few people who actually liked the first two movies uh, back in the day. Um, you know, <laughs> I love the movie they did with the Silver Surfer. I didn't necessarily love the first Fantastic Four movie back then, but I liked the second one a lot. Still, when this new one came out, I saw the previews and I said, boy, that looks, that just looks horrible. And it turned out to be horrible. I mean, they really messed that up. How do you mess up a movie with Michael B. Jordan in it? They did it. So that was horrible. Now we got Ghostbusters 2016. This is the one that starred all the stars from Saturday Night Live. I love that movie. People hated that movie, but they hated it knowing that it was going to be made with women in it. I thought it was funny. You had four of the funniest comedians in the world in that movie. It was not a reboot. Yes, they brought back some old characters for like, you know, just quick shots of them. But in general, that wasn't really a reboot. It was a totally new movie. Truthfully, it did take me four years before I saw it. But when I saw it, I said, this was funny. Why didn't people like this movie? I think, you know, I think sometimes there's a hate thing just because someone new is doing all these things with it and you want it to be what you wanted it to be. Kind of like me and the Harry Potter stuff. You know, like I said, I'm not hating on it. I'm just not going to watch it. So I'm not going to go watch something and then immediately hate it, which I think I would do. Not going to do that. Godzilla. Is Godzilla really a reboot? I mean, <laughs> my God. How many directors did we have with the Godzilla movies back in the 50s and 60s? You know, Godzilla didn't always just look like a guy who was in a rubber suit making noise and wrestling with <laughs> King Kong. <laughs> I was a kid back then. I was fascinated, but I also, you know, laughed a lot. I wasn't scared of a Godzilla or a King Kong back then. It just, you know, it was camp. That's just what it was. So when they redid Godzilla before they did Godzilla vs. Kong, I just wasn't in the mood. Didn't want to go see it. Kong vs. Godzilla? Actually, I didn't see that at the theater either. I had to wait till it came out on DVD, Blu-ray, and then I bought it, then I watched it, and then I loved it. I said, this is great. But that's not close to being a reboot. The original was done back in the 60s, and it was camp. This here was just some serious stuff. This was really good, exciting movie. So, in my opinion, that doesn't count because of all the different directors and all the different times that the other Godzilla movies were made. But, if that counts... For everybody else, there's one. Here's the next one, and this is strange. The Incredible Hulk. The first movie that they did starred Eric Bana, and the second one starred Edward Norton. I didn't think they were the worst movies in the world. I thought that the ending of the first movie was terrible. I thought the ending in the second movie was really good. I'm not necessarily a fan of Edward Norton, though, and maybe that was problematic with me. So I wasn't crazy about that. Love Liv Tyler. So, you know, she was going to be in the movie. I was going to go see it, and I did. I did go to the original 
uh, Incredible Hulk also. You know, I didn't think it was bad. I just thought that, you know, it looks like they changed some things up. But I hadn't really thought of the, you know, Edward Norton as a reboot of it. But in reality, I guess it was. I like what Mark Ruffalo has done with the character. But you notice they don't have the license to make a Hulk movie. So we're probably not going to see that. But you never know. Then we got Man of Steel. I mentioned that earlier with Henry Cavill. Never seen it. No plans on seeing it. So let's talk about The Mummy. I'm wondering about that one being a reboot also. I did not like The Mummy movies from back in the old days. I thought it was slow. I didn't necessarily have any fear of it. You know, I was a little kid. I was a kid back then. And when I saw those movies, I'm thinking, well, you know, all you got to do is like, you know, run way a little bit. You know, the mummies were really slow. They didn't drive. They didn't run. They didn't have big smoke things. You know, no one thought about that stuff. So you get in the car, you drive to New York City, you hang out. Nobody is going to see a mummy. And if a mummy shows up in New York City, you know, they're just going to just, you know, take his rags. <laughs> it's going to be there and there you go. You know, that was me as a kid thinking like that. You know, I just, you know, get in the car, get on my bike. They didn't run. They didn't do anything. So I wasn't scared of any stupid mummy. But the one with Brendan Fraser, which I don't think is a reboot, in my opinion, that one, the first one was really, really good. The second one was pretty good. I didn't even bother with the third one because they changed female lead and I saw the previews and said, this looks like it's going to be really bad. And I know that's the one that The Rock was in where he played the Scorpion King. I'm glad I didn't go that route. So then we have The Muppets. And this was basically supposed to be a reboot of the very first Muppet movie. Only it really wasn't. Remember, The Muppets basically had a series of five movies, I think. Actually, there may have even been more. I watched the first four. I went to the theater and I watched the first four. The first one is in my top 10 favorite movies of all time. Don't judge me. But then they came out with Treasure Island and Christmas Carol and some other things. I said, no, I'm not in the mood for that. So when this one came out and I saw the previews, I said, well, that doesn't look like it's a reboot of the original. It just looks like they're just, you know, bringing some of those characters back. They added a couple of characters. Uh, I didn't need to see this, this guy. I can't even think of what his name is right now. But it looked, you know, like a human Muppet as opposed to an animal Muppet. That may count. I don't know. I went with my friend Scott. We drove all the way to Rochester <laughs> to see it in one of those theaters out there. And I was really disappointed. So maybe in some respects that's considered a reboot. I don't think so. I mean, you know, really, is the exact same Kermit, is the exact same Miss Piggy, and they had done a whole bunch of movies. By the way, Muppets in Space, Muppets in Space, love that one. Go watch that one. That's a funny movie. Yes. Then we got Planet of the Apes 2001 with Mark Wahlberg. I didn't see this until maybe 12 years later. It came out in 2001. I didn't know it came out in 2001. But I saw that movie and it just, no, no, it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. But because some of the stuff that they did in it was supposed to be reminiscent of what they did in the first Planet of the Apes movie, definitely a reboot. I did see it, but I saw it, like I said, 12 years later, maybe even 13 years later. That counts as a reboot that I saw. So I got to at least own up to that. Poltergeist 2015. I didn't know there was a Poltergeist 2015. I saw the first movie in the theater back in the 80s. Sucker scared the heck out of me. You want to know how much it scared me? That was the last quote unquote horror film I ever saw. <laughs> I was fascinated, but it scared me. It just seemed like, oh my God, that can be real stuff coming out of the TV, whatever. Okay, you know, we all kind of had that thought back then. We were really naive in the 80s. Let's just tell it like it is. But it was a fantastic movie. So when I heard that there was a Poltergeist 2015 coming out, I said, nah, nah, 
I'm good with what I saw way back when. So it wasn't happening. And I got only two more movies on this list. One is called Spider-Man Homecoming. Y'all know this is Tom Holland. The thing is that this was somewhat different because one, it had nothing to do with the original Spider-Man. It didn't have anything to do with Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. It came out because he was in Civil War. And so, you know, he's now an Avenger. So, totally different thing. You know, it was just, it was a wonderful movie. It wasn't the best movie ever, but it had a lot of funny things in it. It had some new things that no one had ever seen. I thought it was great. So I had no problem going to see this with my friend Scott. Me and Scott go see a lot of these movies, by the way. But I didn't see it as a true reboot because, like I said, we had now gotten introduced to him in a totally different way. And talk about being shocked because here I am thinking he's this kid only to find out later on that he's actually like 22 or 23 years old when he does the first movie. But he looked like a kid. And I also didn't realize he was British. So, my goodness, you just don't know about folks anymore. And then here's the last one, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 2014. I saw the original one way back when. I went to see the movie. I can't remember which one of my friends I went with. Scott didn't want to go see this one, but I went with someone else. And I just laughed. I thought it was funny as sin. But when I saw the previews for this one, my mind said, boy, that just seems like it's going to be kind of a mean movie. Doesn't seem like it's got much humor. I could be wrong. But I said, no, nah, I'm not going for it. Anyway, those are the list of rebooted movies that I found. So there's a whole bunch of them I never saw. And some of those that I did see, most of them I didn't go to the theater to see it. I saw on DVD much later, so I didn't rush out to see it. And, you know, some of those, like the Ghostbusters movie, which I saw four years later, I didn't see that as a reboot. Totally new cast, a full, you know, a total woman's lead cast, as opposed to Dan Aykroyd and the rest of them. I don't know. Like I said, those are my thoughts. I could be wrong about it, but I'm, you know, willing to stick by it. Anyway, it's been a long time since I did a video. This is what I wanted to talk about. I want to know what you guys think. Are there movies that you wouldn't go to because you saw it as a reboot? Are there movies that you went to that you said, hey, they're rebooting this. I want to see what these new characters are. And if you're thinking about watching the Harry Potter stuff on TV and watching the movies, when they redo all the movies and you're going to go to those, let me know why. You know, really, I just can't generate enough interest to even think about it. So that's on me, but maybe you can help me change my mind. My name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope you all have a wonderful day because I'm putting this out on Thursday. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Y'all take care.